Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use SED. So SED is a pretty cool program and I'm going to keep this tutorial short, simple and sweet. So I have this file text, alright. So the thing is that 10 tiny toes, these are these are some, you know, some poem or some text in this text file, alright. So we are going to use SED to do some changes in this file. So what is SED first of all? So SED is a streamline editor and the thing about SED is that it's going to take this line and it's going to do some operation on it alright and then it's going to take this line and then do some operation on it and this you know goes and goes something like that okay. So the thing is in order to use SED let me clear the screen you have to put you know two quotation like this all right and then the file name now this is incomplete right now between these quotations we type something like some kind of replacement or some edit you know we are going to edit the text so something some operation so let's do you know this so what is this so s is for you know replacing and we are going to replace t with the uh, asterisk all right so let's press enter so nothing changed and the reason nothing changes because I typed capital T. So let's do again this time with small t. All right. So as you can see, t is changed to asterisk, but this t isn't changed with asterisk. So this is pretty weird, and I don't like this. So what we are going to do is we are going to put a g here. So the g means is global. So now when we press enter, but before that, let me clear the screen and press enter. So here it's changed. So what global did is instead of only the first character, so the first instance of t, it's going to, you know, consider all the instances. All right. So remember this operation will first get applied on this line and then this operation will apply to this line. So this is how things will work. So now let me get text again. And as you can see, this t is t not asterisk so we were so you know I, I thought like it should be asterisk because we ran the set operation but this is not how set work all right so set is just temporarily so the file itself is same so there is no change in the file so what you have to do is you have to run the set and you can redirect it and make another file so for example text 2 all right so i'm just going to redirect the output of set into this text 2 and press enter and let me clear the screen and get out text 2 all right so here you can see it's changed it's uh, all the changes are there but this is actually another file if you get text again so it's still you know our same old file so let me delete text 2 okay and clear the screen and uh, get text so text is again same uh, you know the, the same old stuff so let's go up and this time instead of uh, redirecting let's use um hyphen ie flag all right so if you are using any gnu slash linux it's going to work and let's press enter and now let's get our text so as you can see all the you know t's uh, replaced with s3 all right so let's do this again but instead of you know um this time let's change asterisk to capital t all right so press enter and get out text so here you can see it's converted also if you notice when we use this thing here with hyphen i then it's not going to print out our output it's just going to change all right so you have to be very careful while using this flag because it's going to you know change your file so there is no room for the mistakes now let me tell you one more thing so let's get out text so the thing is that this thing so this t is capital but i don't want this to be capital because it's in the end all right so we can also use regular expressions with set so there is one th you know habit which i have is so this is what i type so this is like a boilerplate for set for me every time i do replacement so what i want is i want to you know replace t with small t but not all t because right now if i press enter everything you know is in is small all right so it's lowercase so what i want is i just want t of the end all right so um let's just replace it with something like oh all right so here you can see this thing is replaced but um, only for this t so this t here because this t was in the end of the line all right so let's just instead of oh let's just replace it with um you know just small t and remember it's not on the file the changes is just temporary so we have to put hyphen i and press enter and there is no output so 
let me clear and text you know get out so here you can see this is small all right now let's do the with the beginning so the thing is that uh we did with the end but what if if we just want to replace um there is this um yeah carrot symbol so all the t uh, you know all the lines which is starts with t so i just want to uh, you know replace it with for hashtag oh i accidentally you know i accidentally use a hyphen i so let's get out so here you can see it's replaced so i because i did accidentally so i have to again you know just change it to t again and that's it so this is how said works and the thing about said is why you need to learn said is because that you don't really want to use editor all the time for example if you're scripting you need said all the time and it can be very useful and there are a lot of things which uh, i want to talk about said for example all the regular expressions but that's not actually said thing so uh, you know you can change all the capital things to something like o zero or whatever let's remove and I this time so here you can see you can also do regular expression and this is what the what this is basically the power of set all right so when you learn set you can script things you can script your editing so this is pretty cool and let me show you one example of set so let me clone uh, one repository which I have so let me quickly type arch Linux magic okay so it's cloning so this is a script which i have um let me open this arch install so i use this script to install my arch linux in my computer all right so uh, maybe it work on your computer so i i actually i was just making a list of all the commands and then i realized wait i can just make it executable and you know so here i use set all right so on line 17 so what i did is basically everything which is below this line all right uh, everything which is below 17 line i just uh you know uh, fetch those part from the set and then i redirected and made another script because i needed to run that script after mounting uh, it's it's pretty confusing but the thing is that i created another file while running the script so this is this is pretty cool and i use this part here part two so here you can see uh, part two so this is actually the part two so what i did is i printed out everything after the part two and then i created another script so you know because when you are installing arch you have to mount the system and after mounting you can't run the script actually uh, it will get struck so you can use said it's pretty useful and you should watch some more videos i will make more videos so yeah i am trying to you know make some educational videos so these days not so fancy so thanks for watching this video and i will make another video on set in future so uh, subscribe to my channel and